When the narcissist sees a prize they like, they pursue it relentlessly. In pursuing something you want, which can be a person, in itself, of course, that's not a bad thing. In a, when you want something, it's important to put your best foot forward and to come across as your best self, otherwise you might fail. And when the narcissist has their eyes set on their prize, they can go to certain extremes to try to secure their success, which maybe your average person wouldn't do. Like if they were interested in someone because they thought a certain individual might be the perfect supply for them, might be the perfect person to stroke their ego, help them get their needs met. They, they can spend a lot of time observing the person, a lot of time putting together a game plan, and then they gradually play their hand to see if they can conquer the person they have their eyes set on. And again, that in itself isn't unusual because if you're looking for a boyfriend, a girlfriend, someone to have a relationship with, someone to marry, or if you just want something short term, then you usually have to put your best foot forward and you have to come across as a version of yourself that would appeal to the other person. But what narcissists do differently is that they go the extra level to come across as being a certain person which isn't the real them. They, they work really hard to mold themselves into a version, well, it's not even a version of them, into a manufactured version of them that is a very compatible match to the object of their desire. And what that means is, if they, if they relentlessly pursue someone knowing that compatibility isn't really something they've considered as part of the pursuit, they're not pursuing someone who's compatible. In their pursuit, they're just trying to get their objective met, whatever that is. And a lot of time, that's just that might be to secure a relationship with the person. But the problem is, with a narcissist, once they've conquered the person... Once they've achieved the object of their desire, then that facade, that front falls, and then they're on to the next. Their focus then goes elsewhere on whatever the next thing is of interest to them. And because there was no compatibility, because there was no genuine compatibility, between the narcissist and the other person, then, of course, in the case of a relationship, is doomed to fail. Because the other person is just going to be experiencing disappointment after disappointment. And because narcissists sometimes, even though their main objective, which was to have conquered the person, has been met, after that's happened, narcissists then like to get their supply needs met by having the person around because the person does a lot for them. And then, because the other person, and at the outset, did feel a compatibility, because the fake persona that, that the narcissist put forth was a compatible persona, it just wasn't the real them. So the other person can't let go of that too quickly. So then they feel that like they're on the hook. And then the narcissist, assuming they do want to keep the person around, and when they feel that the other person might be distancing themselves, narcissists throw in those breadcrumbs to reignite the other person's desire and staying in the relationship because all of a sudden they see the person that they knew at the outset again. So it sets them back. It weakens them to the point where they think, actually, I do like this person. I do want to stay in. Maybe I've been exaggerating you know, the person's behaviors. Maybe all the, the toxic ways of the narcissist, all the strange behaviors, the other person might disregard and think, oh, they were seeing things. They're making up. They're imagining things. But of course, when you have a real, a real relationship, when, when, when people come together on the basis of something that was not overly manufactured, 
then there, even if one or both people stop trying so hard to win the person over, once they have won the person over, because there's compatibility there, then usually things can work out and the relationship can evolve and the people can get along well. And they can work together to have a successful future together. But when there is no compatibility, which is what you have with narcissists, and that's the big thing that narcissists do that's different from other relationships, is that they have no intent. They have no consideration of coming together with somebody where they actually do believe there's compatibility. They fake it to, to such an extreme that there's nothing in common there later. There's no basis on which a relationship can thrive with a narcissist, not to mention their toxic ways. So they're basically, they end up with somebody over time who A, is not compatible with them, and B, who they abuse. Of course, the person on the receiving end isn't going to be happy. And that's, and that's the danger of rushing things, and that's the danger of not vetting the person, not really getting to know who you're involved with, because if there's no compatibility, then why do you even want to take the person seriously? But of course, narcissists, they play a different game. They play a game of dominance and control. And when you play a game of dominance and control, the best they can achieve is to play a good game at the outset, conquer the person that they want to be their primary supply, and then after that, string the person along through breadcrumbs. And then they can either move on to the next person or just sit relaxing in the pride that they have of having conquered the person and just doing whatever it is they, they do. So, sometimes you need to realize when you're dealing with somebody, who are they at their core? How do you actually feel about the person that they are? Not, not the words they're saying, not their grand gestures, but rather, who are you dealing with? And is this person just saying and do things to try to impress you? Or is there something underneath them that you can actually relate to and that's worth you investing in? It's a big difference. Thanks for watching.